Hey everyone, this is Tony Futures Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use fast CGI cache on Nginx. And doing this will allow you to cache your PHP pages. This will be a very basic example, but it should give you a good idea about how this concept works. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I have an Nginx web server running at this IP address, and um, can't make it any bigger, but every time you refresh the page, you're going to get the current time, okay? So today's date is 11.27, and uh, probably the UTC time is 22.12.45. We refresh that, 12.53, uh, 12.55, okay? And over here, I'm using Chrome and looking at the developer tools, um, and if we look at the page here, you'll see that there's no indication of like any type of caching happening from the response header. So um, let's go ahead and change that. Let's go log into our server via SSH at the same IP address and edit some configuration files. So the first thing I'm gonna do is edit the Nginx configuration file, which is at etc Nginx sites available. And uh, I'm just using the default configuration file. That might be different for you. And I just have a basic uh, PHP configuration file here that loads PHP files um, uh, via the fast CGI pass. So now let's add some lines into here. Uh, actually at the very top of this file, you wanna add the directory for where our cache is going to live, okay? And that's gonna look something like this. So we have our fast CGI cache path uh, variable and uh, we're assigning a value of uh, this directory on our system and we'll take a look at that after we get out of this file but this is where our cache is going to physically live on our um, on our server so that's that's uh, where that is etc nginx cache the cache will be uh, basically two levels deep we're calling uh, our, our keys zone, this is this is something you can pick a name for. I'm calling it my cache, all uppercase with an underscore in between. And the uh, the size of that is 100 megabytes. And inactive, inactivity period is 60 minutes. Um, and this, this fast CGI cache key, this is optional, but this is just defining what your keys are gonna look like. Cause you know, the whole idea of caching is a key value pair. So you have a key, and, uh, and a value for that key. And basically when um, a user requests a page, essentially think of the page name as being the key and the value of that being the content of the page. So the, the CGI server, the fast CGI pass, all, is, all it has to do is uh, look up the key and get that directly, get the value directly as opposed to the, the server generating that dynamically. Okay, so that's all good there. Now inside of the location block, we wanna add a few more configuration lines and those are gonna look something like this. And by the way, all of this um, will be linked down below in the description so you don't have to type it. You can just copy and paste it and modify it for your own use cases. So um, fast CGI cache, um, like I said, we define that and this is kind of the connection here. Uh, between our fast CGI cache path, which we're specifying our key zone as my cache, and then we're uh, also specifying that down here. Uh, fast CGI cache valid. This is the return code that we're gonna give um, for our cache, which is 200, um, like you know, 400, 404, that type of thing, and then it's gonna be valid for 60 minutes. And we're also adding to our header an X cache um, uh, variable, and that's gonna be the status of the upstream cache. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. And uh, please let's note here um, the etc nginx cache directory. Let's take a look at that right now. And if we look at that, oops. If we look at that, you'll see that this doesn't actually exist now, but when we go ahead and restart the server with system CTL restart nginx, N-G-I-N-X, um, th that directory will be created. And uh, at this point it's empty because we haven't cached anything yet, but you'll see as we, uh, when we visit the page, we'll, we'll cache the page and that will be created within that directory. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, go back to our browser window and we will uh, take note of the time 
Um, so it will refresh from whatever this time is to the current time. And we see that 22, 17, 18, okay? And we'll look at the response header. And now we see that we have the X cache. If you remember, that's giving us a status, which is a miss because this, this page wasn't it found in cache at this point, but now that we visit it, hopefully the, uh, the the cache server has cached that page. So the next time we see it, we'll get a cache hit and it doesn't have to uh, do any dynamic generation. So if we refresh the page, um, we should see the same time, but let, let's, let's take a look under the hood and see if we have any cache here. And uh, we do. Let's go in here to the C directory, the 80 directory, and there is our cache key. And if we look at this, um, my guess is that we'll be able to see some indication of the time that was cached. And there it is. So the date and then the time. So now any time that we go to this page, we should just pull out this, this value from this key instead of getting the new time, instead of getting the refreshed current time and serve that. So let's see if that actually happens. Let's refresh the page again and we see the exact same time this was pulled from the cache at this point. And if we look at the response header, we'll see that we have a, a cache hit this time. So that means that confirms the fact that this was actually pulled from cache. And, and like I said in the beginning of this video, this might not be practical for a page that is showing you the, the time being updated every time it's loaded, but this should give you an idea about how uh, fast CGI cache works as far as PHP is concerned and how to implement it at a very basic level. So guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I got some other videos about caching on Nginx and Apache and Ubuntu servers in general, Debian servers, all that stuff. Um, so check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.